Hi, I'm Danny, and these are my diecast disasters. In this video, I'm going to be tidying up and customizing this scruffy old looking Yakming Transam. It's actually got Transan written on the bottom of it with an N. Uh, I believe these were produced around 1979, 1980. There was this red one. I've got another black one. It's like uh, the bandits one. So you can see this one's had a bit of a life. Missing plenty of paint there. Both of the front pillars are broken. The base it's got opening doors, they still work all right. Scruffy old wheels and a grubby interior. And you can see the side panels are a little bit bent as well. Although these aren't really the highest quality toys. Not a very chunky casting. Anyway, I'll crack into it and drill out both of the posts so that I can take it apart. Okay, with the post drilled out, I can pop the base off. There it goes. So you can see it's pretty grubby in there. A little bit of rust around the axles, but not too bad. Grubby old interior. And windscreen. Another car that looks like it's been for a swim or two in a muddy puddle maybe. I'll pop the doors out and then they're held in by this bent piece of wire. Just using my pliers there to take that out. And there's all of the parts of our Transan. So next, using some paint stripper to strip the paint off the castings. And then I can give them a clean up with the wire brush on my Dremel and get rid of that oxidation. And a few scraps of paint that might still be on there. And here are the castings tidied up and looking a bit more shiny. So we'll tidy up this casting a bit. I'm going to have to fix those broken pillars. But first I'm just going to use my fingers to straighten out these sides a little bit. I'm going to be really careful not to break it though. To fix the pillars, I'm going to be using some of this Starbond super glue, and I'm using a thick gap filler one. So, just putting a little bit on the end of the skewer here and applying it, making sure I get it in between the crack where the pillars have broken. Now, just holding it together reasonably firmly and I'll add a 
little bit more of the thick super glue. And here I've got some of the accelerator spray. So I'll just give it a couple of squirts of that. That should set it pretty instantly. And I'm just going to add another layer of the thick super glue just to build it up. Once that's all nice and dried, I can work it with the needle files and some sandpaper. I drill and tap the post so that I can put it together using some little button head screws later on. Here's a little wire spring. I'm just using the wire brush on the Dremel to tidy that up. And then I reassembled the doors. So you just pop the spring back on and stick the doors back in there. It's pretty simple. Okay, now it's time for some paint. I've decided to repaint it in white because I could make nicer decals that way. And here's the decals I've made for it. There's some blue stripes and a classic firebird there to go on the bonnet or hood or whatever you want to call it. So just applying my decal there. And once I had all the decals on, I finished it with a couple of coats of gloss. So here's the plastic parts. They're looking particularly grubby after looking at that nice, clean, new white paint job on the body. So I'll take these old wheels and axles out. We're going to be replacing those. And then I could give it all a jolly good wash with some soap and water. Here is the base after I've given it a jolly good clean up. And these are the new wheels, the Dunlops. They're not my first choice of rims, although I like the gold. But I, I did have more suitable rims but they were just too big they're very small wheels on this car so i've put the wheels and axles into the base and also you can see i've detailed the tail lights and given it a trans and license plate here's the interior it's looking nice and clean a little yellowed but otherwise fine and the scuffed old windscreen here I'll start out giving that 
a sand with some 2000 grit sandpaper to remove the worst of the scuffs and scratches and then using some plastic polish and my Dremel I'll give it a jolly good polish And here's how it came out. I think it's looking much more shiny and clear now. So that was the last thing to do. And here are all the parts of our little Yatming Transan. Refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. So while I'm reassembling it, let's take a look back at what we started with. A cheap little Yatming Transan Transam, a well play worn chipped old paint job, some worn out wheels, and a scruffy, dirty interior. So let's see how it came out. And here it is our finished, restored, and customized Yatming Transan. Repainted in a nice clean white. It's got some nice new decals with a classic Firebird on the bonnet. Clean interior, nice shiny windscreens, and of course those nice new aftermarket wheels. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Did you have one of these as a toy when you were a kid? Before I go, a massive shout out to my awesome Patreons. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. Check out the link below in the description, as well as a link to my other channel where I do some sim racing and a link where you can get 15% off of some Starbond superglue. Thanks heaps for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.